In this video, I'll show you how to create password protected categories within WooCommerce in just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so here we are on our test site. And as you can see, we're currently trying to access our t-shirt category, but currently it's password protected. So if I go ahead and enter in a password, we should have access to the page. And now we can see the contents of this particular category. So this is great if you're running a wholesale website, a photography website, a members only website, and so much more. So this comes in super handy to password protect those particular categories. If you wanna create something similar in your WooCommerce store, the first step is to head over to WooSuite.com. Go ahead and download and install the WooCommerce restriction rules plugin. Once you've done so, let's head back over to our dashboard. Okay, so assuming you've downloaded the restriction rules plugin, you want to navigate to plugins, add new, go ahead and upload and install the plugin in which you just downloaded. Once you've done so, you'll see this Woo Suite menu here. Go ahead and activate your license key and then we'll navigate to restriction rules. Okay, so with this plugin, you can do numerous things, but for this video, I'm just going to focus on creating a password protected category. Okay, so if we scroll down to where it says password rules here. So here you can see we've already got a rule set up. Currently it's targeting everyone. So it says applies to, we can specify who we want this particular rule to apply to. So we can select everyone, guest users, which are users logged out of your site or a specific user role or a specific user. And then we can just go ahead and quickly select the categories in which we want to password protect. Okay, and also worth noting is that we want to enable this option here where it says locked parent categories and tags also. So you want to enable this option and then here you can just enter in the password in which you're going to share with your selected users. Okay, you can also set an expiration date on this password as well. You can go ahead and enter in a date, month and year. And if you want, you can create numerous password protected rules as well. So we just click add new rule. And then here we can go ahead and enter in our new rule. So I'm just gonna X this off for now. Okay, and to further customize our password protected form, we're gonna go ahead and click on password settings here. So here we can add some extra information before the password entry form. So in my case, I've just let users know that this particular um, page, well, here it says product, we could say this particular category is password protected. And if you want, maybe you can add some extra information to let users know how they might be able to get access to this particular category. So you could say upgrade your plan, contact admin, or send them over to a particular resource, etc., etc. Okay, and then for the submit button here, you'll just go ahead and rename your button. So in my case, I've just entered submit password, and then we can go ahead and save changes. And as you can see, this is our t-shirt category page. So now if we go ahead and open this page in a new tab, it'll prompt us to enter in our password again. So as you can see, this is a text in which we added before the form field. And then we've got a simple um, a submit button here. So one more time, let's enter in our password. And now we have access to this particular category. So you can use this plugin to add a similar password protection rules to your product page, to the tag page, and you can also hide certain products as well. You can restrict certain products by user role. You can hide certain menu item and so much more. And that's how you password protect a particular category within WooCommerce in just a few simple steps. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. If you've got any questions, leave it in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.